Uh, what I do is blanch it. Very, I mean, on, honestly, it's like 10 seconds. Brian Tayara, the owner of Our Luck Will Catch, has like been participating in the Soda City market for just a couple of months. But in that time period, his business has doubled in income, and now his business provides local seafood to four restaurants in Colombia. Tayara believes that the market is a great chance for local businesses to get a foot in the door and develop into something more. It's a great thing for business because I feel like businesses are going to start here and then move on to a more brick, a bricks and mortar location and really, really support the town and become part of the landscape of Columbia. Many locals, including Erin Galloway and her husband from Irmo, love to buy local and thinks that the market gives a great chance for local vendors to display their products to the public. I think there are a ton of vendors out here that we didn't know anything about and so they're getting a great opportunity to showcase their products that are made right here in Columbia and I really love being able to buy local. So I can size those to fit, I can move them. Stuart James, who is a full-time real estate agent, sells homemade jewelry at the market. James sees that the attraction to these local vendors has also helped out local businesses in the downtown area. Well, I think the Main Street businesses have benefited the most because they've got a lot more traffic on Saturday mornings that they didn't have before, be in the Mass General Store, Nickelodeon, Wine Down. So they open earlier now, and so it's helped our Main Street to become better and kind of thrive, which is what Columbia needs as a city, especially being the capital of South Carolina. Yeah, it's delicious. You want to try one? So whether Tayara's business continues to supply seafood to restaurants or opens a stationary location on Main Street, the Soda City Market is constantly providing local vendors the opportunity to succeed. Justin Stevens, Carolina News.